Born in 1969, English artist Cecily Brown uses the vocabulary of abstract expressionism to make large pictures that express a deep satisfaction with the act of painting. Often her imagery derives from photos, specifically pornographic pictures of couples engaged in various acts of erotic contortionism. Some art critics have used that fact to make grand conceptual claims for Brown's work, which I think the paintings don't support. As an artist myself, I recognize the truth of John Burgess saying that the subject of a picture is not necessarily the same as what it's about. In other words, wherever you start from in art, the piece always changes through the process of making it. I think this is particularly true of painting, and this picture by Cecily Brown is further evidence of that. More than anything, her work is about the excitement of mark making. Thinned out washes of paint drip down the surface of the canvas. Streaks are produced with a squeegee or a scraper. Large brush marks are overlaid with strokes from narrower brushes. Thick paint jostles against thin. Lines appear to describe a shape, only to arrive at an area of furious scribbling. Like the work of Guston or de Kooning, Brown keeps things in motion for as long as she can, never allowing the eye to settle in one place for long. I suspect that she borrows the fine colour balances and energy of abstract expressionism without adding much more in terms of depth. But if you like painting, her pictures are great to look at. And if that's all there is to see in her work, that amounts to a lot. <laughs>